Hey, happy Monday. Woo, what a day. We got a lot of rain last night after I mowed, which was lovely. I was able to mow even though the entire time I was mowing, the sky just kept getting darker and darker and like these storm clouds. And the entire time I'm out there like, I'm either gonna get struck by lightning or rained on or both. I mean, it is. it was just, it looked like the end of the world out there. Fortunately, it held off. It didn't do anything. A lot of it just kind of rolled on. It didn't really do anything. And I was able to get everything done. I mowed, I potted. I had a couple of uh, chrysanthemums I wanted to get in pots. I was able to do that. Um, you know, I was able to do just some odds and ends out there, which was great. Um, that man has the hairiest arms I've seen in a while. Sorry. Wow. Okay. It's the little things you notice in life. Um, some hairy arms. Like, you could braid that shit. I forgot what I was saying. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm not making fun. I am not saying anything. I am just making an observation. Are we still allowed to do that? Is, that, is it okay to notice anything anymore? Can you not notice anything anymore? You damn sure can't comment on anything. You're going to get in trouble. I'm just making an observation. Anyway, it's hot in here. I just left Ollie's. I bought some stuff. A lovely uh, subscriber and a Patreon uh, contributor of mine told me... Okay, I don't know if you saw my walkthrough at the candy shop. There were these little segmented worms. And they, they were made out of these plastic pieces. And they made these neat clickety-clack sounds, you know? And I meant to buy one when I was in the candy shop, but I forgot to. Um, and so my, one of my subscribers and Patreon contributors sent me a message the other day and actually said she saw them at Ollie's, that you could get those little things at Ollie's. And she also sent me a link where you can buy them on Amazon. She said, if you don't have them at your Ollie's, you can get them on Amazon. So I came to our, one of our local Ollie's stores. I got all kinds of goodies. Oh my gosh, let me show you. I did find the worms. They were up, if you're interested in these, they're up near the register. This is right here. And they glow in the dark according to the little, well this one, yeah it does. Crazy Wrigley Slug glow in the dark and they were $4.79 each. Isn't he cute? It looks like a nipple. <laughs> it's like a booby. <laughs> it's a little slug. And they glow in the dark. I could do this all day. It's hypnotic. Sorry. So I got this one. It's kind of a pink and a light green. Got that one. Also got this one. That's it has green, purple, and blue, and it's still in the cellophane. Glow in the dark 3D slug. So these are all $4.79. They had a solid green, a solid purple. They had different colors. So I wanted a couple of multicolored ones. So I got this one. This one wasn't in a bag. It was just like this. But apparently they glow in the dark. This one has a blue nipple, but it's not quite as pronounced. Um, what else did I get? My son bought this battery powered, some kind of a, it's like a Nerf gun, but it's some other brand, and he needed some C batteries. So I had to get four C batteries. These were $249 for two Magnavox C batteries. I bought two packs of these. I bought this. Y'all remember a slush puppy? I used to love getting slush puppies at the convenience store. Every now and then you'll still see them. It's the coldest drink in town. That's what the thing always said. Coldest drink in town. They have this uh, cherry, and cherry was always my favorite flavor. It's a liquid, obviously, and you stick it in the freezer and you let it freeze, and then you freeze it, squeeze it, and enjoy it. It was 99 cents. How much sugar is in here? 34 grams of sugar in this bitch. I don't care. I miss my slush puppies. I thought I would try it. I got to thinking the other day, did I mention that I had a craving for a ginger snaps just out of nowhere i was driving somewhere and i thought you know what i haven't had in a long time ginger snaps i probably haven't had ginger snaps in 10 years i would really love some ginger snaps 
So I bought some at Walmart and yesterday I ate about a half a box of ginger snaps by myself. I'm not even sorry. I had, basically that was my lunch yesterday was ginger snaps. I just ate a shit ton of ginger snaps and that was all I had for lunch yesterday. <laughs> I'm not even sorry, they were delicious. They're really good with a cold glass of milk, you know, dunk them in the milk a little bit. So good, because they're kind of hard. You know, they have molasses in them and ginger and so good. Oh, it's such a simple little cookie, but they're so good. And you just dunk them in the milk just a little bit. It's, oh, it's, it's wonderful. I love them. What else did I get? I bought several things. What else? What else? Mainly, I just came in here looking for those little worms. Um, I, I, I think I've been bitten by the home improvement bug again. Don't shoot me. Don't, don't, don't kill me. But, you know, I got to looking at the countertop in my bathroom last night. And it's kind of the way I felt about my tub, no matter, because I just cleaned it. Like, I took everything off, wiped it down, cleaned it and everything. And I thought, even when it's clean, it just looks kind of yuck. And I felt, I felt the same way about my tub before I had it resurfaced. You know, like, I can get in here and scrub this thing all day, and it just always looks dirty. Like, it just, it's just dingy. It just always looks dirty. No matter what I do to it, it looks dirty. And I kind of feel the same way about my countertop in the bathroom upstairs and downstairs. I kind of, I'm kind of thinking about having them redone. Yeah, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I almost want to sit here and say, how complicated could that be? I mean, no, oh, I know, I know. I would probably end up needing a surgeon and a bomber pilot to come into my house for some reason before it was over with and like an architect and a geologist and like oh I know I know it would be a whole damn thing they would have to completely reconstruct my house to put these things in for some reason there would be something I know I know I know but and I was looking at the the countertop in the bathroom downstairs the little half bath like whenever I have company over that's the bathroom they use and I mean, it looks okay, but again, I keep them clean. I keep everything clean, you know, but it just never looks great. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's been bugging me for a while, but it's really started to bug me more in the last month or two for some reason. Like, and that's see, now that's the thing about owning a house that a lot of people don't think about. And if you're thinking about buying a house, this is not financial advice. This is just advice advice from a non-professional um it's just like buying a car you cannot when you're trying to figure out what you can afford you cannot just look at the price of the house or the price of the car there's so much more you have to consider that you're going to have to pay for if you buy that like you'll say oh this house is and i'm just throwing out an example this house it is one hundred fifty thousand dollars I can afford the payment on that house. Um, it would be tight, but I could afford to make a payment on that house. Here's my interest rate. Here's, you know, like if you knew, okay, for sure, if I bought this house, here's how much I'd have to pay every month. It'd be tough, but I could afford it. So I'm going to go for it. Eh, okay. Make sure you have homeowner's insurance. Um, you are going to have to do maintenance, okay? That's the thing about owning a house. You are never done with with maintenance. You're never done fixing shit. Something is always messed up. There will always be at least one thing in your house that either you will have to just know or explain to other people, oh, you have to do this this way. Yeah, I know it's weird. Like, you'll have a door or something that is just weird. It opens weird or it does something weird. You will always have at least one thing in your house like that, that just, it doesn't quite work the way it should and you have to explain it to people. That's just the way it is. I don't, I don't know. And if you fix that, something else in your house will go wonky because it has to balance out. It's like the yin and yang of owning a home. There's always something that's not quite right. I don't, it's like whack-a-mole. You can fix shit all day long. Something else is gonna pop up. And that's the way it is when you own a home. Um, have you priced a new roof lately? Yeah. Holy shit. 
If you need a new roof, get your checkbook out. Woo! It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You're going to be making payments forever. So when you're buying a house, you have to look beyond just what that house costs. You need to look at, can I afford the house, the repairs, the upkeep? You know, because it's a lot. It's a lot of work um, just to maintain it, not even to do anything special to it, just to, like, do basic shit. Have, you know, you might have plumbing issues. You might have wiring issues, structural issues, foundation issues. And this shit can blow up at any point. These things can become a problem literally overnight. Your basement can flood if you have a basement. Um, a lot of people here don't have basements. I don't have a basement. I don't even have a crawl space. My house is on a slab, which in some ways is kind of nice. It does have its advantages. But, um, yeah, can you afford all of that? So, it's just something I throw out there because I think a lot of people don't consider it. Not because they don't care, they just don't think about it. Um, if you've never owned a home before, if you've always rented, and that's one thing I'm going to tell you, I miss about renting a house or renting an apartment or whatever. If something breaks, I just call the, call the superintendent or whatever. Superintendent? Super. The super. Superintendent makes me think of schools. It is superintendent. What the fuck ever. The person who owns the place or maintains the maintenance person, whoever it is, hey, my washing machine's busted. Can you come fix it? Or... There's a leak in here, you know, the toilet is leaking. Can you come fix it? When you own a home, there's nobody to call. You are on deck. You are, you are, you're up. You're going to have to take care of getting that fixed. Nobody's going to fix it for you. Well, they will, but you have to pay them to fix it. So there are advantages and disadvantages to owning versus renting. There really are. And if you've never owned a home, you may not think about that. You can't just pick up the phone and call somebody, hey, come fix this. And they fix it and they don't charge you for it those days are over when you buy a home um and trust me they charge they don't mind charging to come fix your shit i mean they need to get paid too they're you know electricians plumbers landscapers whatever they they work for a living just like you i mean they need to get paid too i'm not mad at them it's just a fact of life you just have to do it but anyway I'm kind of toying with the idea. I'm not getting the company that did the countertops in my kitchen. I'm still mad at them. I'm not calling them. In fact, I had such a bad experience with them. They offered to do the sink in my downstairs bathroom for free. And I said, no. I said, I don't want y'all touching anything else. You screwed up so much. I don't want you touching any damn thing. I'm calling somebody else. I just want to get an estimate and find out how much would it cost to replace the the sink, the little sink thing in the bathroom downstairs, and the one in my bathroom. Maybe I should get them all three done. I'll get it. I'll get estimates. But I have three. I have two and a half baths. Get them all to match. Shoot, I'll do the the, the bathroom at the top of the stairs too. I hardly ever think about that bathroom. That's the one the, my boys use. Um, that's the shower they use. I use the one next to my room. I treat that bathroom like the redheaded stepchild. Like, I never even go in there for anything. Um, they're in charge of clean, keeping it clean and, and everything. I don't even go in there. Like, that's y'all's domain. They both know how to scrub a toilet and clean a, a shower because I'm not, no. And I tell you what, if you have kids, especially boys that make a mess when they, go, when they pee, make them clean the toilet a few times. You know what? They get a lot tidier about it. Yes, because I... I have literally never used that bathroom. I've, we've lived there five years. I've never once used that bathroom. Um, I, well, I've never used the toilet. I have had to take a shower. I took a shower in there a couple of times when I got my shower resurfaced and we couldn't use it for several days. I did shower in their, uh, in their shower in there, but I've never used that toilet. So like, if, there's some, if the toilet's messy, it's not my fault. I've literally never used it. That's all y'all. So they both know how to scrub a toilet, clean, you know, you need to scrub the floor all around the toilet. You're going to have to get down on your hands and knees like Cinderella and scrub that shit. I'm not touching it. They know how to clean a bathroom. Absolutely. Because I'm not touching it. Y'all do that. That's their, that's one of their jobs. That's what they do. They take turns. And they, they always complain. They always say it was the other one. Well, like, oh, eventually whoever, whoever is responsible gets to clean it. It's gotten a lot better, though, since they've had to clean, start cleaning it themselves. It's really not that bad anymore. Um, but it, you know what? Whoever was spraying and praying in there when they peed, they quit doing it. 
<laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't notice as much of a problem in there anymore. But I still might complain it. I'll get an estimate for all three. And um, so there are two towel holders in the ba in the bathroom downstairs. They're kind of uh, askew, like you got one up here, one down here, you know. And right now I just have one towel hanging on it, and I thought I want to get a couple of hand towels that match to go on those towel holders. And I found these. I couldn't quite decide what color to get. They had a bunch of different colors. I decided to go with these kind of char. It's like concrete color. It's like a gray. I don't know. They were $6.99 for these two Dan River hand towels. They're very soft, very nice. So I bought these just to go in that downstairs bathroom. Right now I just have a plain old white one hanging on one of the towel racks, but I hate having one sitting in there with nothing on it. Um, so I got that. Um, I bought a couple of shower liners. I like these sort of clear ones to use in my bathroom. This is a nice one. This is just one. It's really thick from Mainstays. It was only $4.99 for this medium weight shower liner. I keep a whole, I have a whole stash of these. I stock up on them. Because sometimes you go for several months and you can't find them anywhere. And I bought this Clorox one for my kids' bathroom. It's supposed to be mildew resistant, um, blah, blah, blah. Has antimicrobial stuff or whatever. It's just a Clorox shower curtain liner. This one was also $4.99. And it comes with little curtain rings if you need them. I don't really need those. I just wanted the shower curtain. And that's it. That's all I got. Nothing really all that interesting or exciting. I'm sitting here debating on whether or not... See Hobby Lobby's over there, and I'm debating on going over there, but it looks super duper crowded, and uh, I mean, it looks like Christmas time over there. That parking lot is slam full. I kind of wanted to go over there because they, okay, I've looked at the mesh at Joanne and Michael's. There's a certain kind of mesh I'm looking for, and Michael's didn't have it. Joanne didn't have it. I wonder if Hobby Lobby has it. I'm looking for a 21 inch mesh that's, it's a certain kind of an iridescent mesh and Joanne didn't have it, Michaels didn't have it. So I, I just wanted to go see if they have it and if they do, I might pick up some. It's for something I wanna do for one of my Christmas trees. I know what I'm looking for and I know it exists because I've seen it, but I cannot remember where I saw it. It might've been in there. I'm gonna go look and see if they've got it God, it's so crowded, though. And the bad thing about it, too, when it gets crowded like that, the lines are a mile long, and it takes forever to check out. I'm sitting here like, Mary, just go another day. I mean, you don't need it now. But it's right there. It's literally right there. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I just want to go in there. I mean, I might not even buy anything. I mean, they might not even have it. Somebody has it. I just, I thought it was at Michael's, but no. They have an iridescent mesh, but it's not, it's not the one I was thinking of. There are, there are different kinds of iridescent mesh. <laughs> and I saw it, and I don't remember where I saw it. Like a year ago. Maybe it doesn't exist anymore. Maybe it had asbestos or something in it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to pop in over there and look. And I also want to see if they have any more Christmas stuff put out yet. Um, I'm still looking for stuff for my dark purple and silver tree. I have yet to find the ornaments that I want. Silver's easy, but I'm looking for a certain shade of purple. It's like um, a royal purple or something. I don't know. It's not a plum color. It's purple, but dark. If that makes any sense. Like a dark deep purple and I, I haven't found any yet but honestly I mean I a lot of places have not really started putting out their Christmas stuff yet oh at home is right back yonder I could go to at home mm, I, I really need to get home and get to work well I did my day job this morning I had a little bit of stuff from our German client um, took care of that. I didn't really have much. I mean, they don't expect us to do anything today. They know it's a holiday here, but 
I wanted to just try to, you know, do what I could. So I did that. Um, did some housework this morning. Played with the cats. I don't know. I've just sort of spent the day just kind of doing whatever. I packaged up some eBay stuff. This place is crowded, y'all. God, everybody is at the Hobby Lobby. Dad gum. I'm gonna have to part way down here. Yeah. God. I may get in there and never get out. Shoot. Well, if I'm going in there, I need my I need my adventure purse. Got my adventure purse. Because I don't have pockets. I don't have pockets on my shorts or anything. Oh God, wish me luck. Um I have two different videos I want to make, and it's I've almost decided I need to start a whole series of what I would call bumper sticker videos, because it's, I, I'm starting to sound like a bumper sticker, and one of the videos would be, uh, know your worth, and about the way you allow people to treat you, and the way you treat yourself, and living life to the fullest. I've been thinking about both of those things the last few days, and it'd be two separate videos, that I want to make, and I sound like a, a bumper sticker, but it's stuff I wanted to talk about, because I do think there are a lot of people out there that, you know, maybe are cheating themselves out of the fullest life they can have for those two reasons, whether they're not really living their life to the fullest, which sounds dumb and very contrite, but I could explain, and, uh, and people who are, who don't know their worth and accept less than what they deserve. And I kind of thought about making a couple of videos. Maybe somebody out there could benefit from it. And I'm not sitting here saying I'm some kind of a resident expert on anything. I'm not a Mr. Know-it-all or whatever. But, you know, I, I've learned a lot from listening to people older than me. I've learned a lot about life from people who have lived longer than I have and who have lived through things I haven't lived through. And I would like to just try to help somebody the way I was helped as a younger person by imparting some of my knowledge. You know, again, not that I'm some know-it-all. I'm not. I just wanted to talk about those two topics at some point. I'm not going to do it today. I really need to get home. I need to edit what was I going to edit? Oh, I have that second walkthrough at Spirit Halloween. I need to record a voiceover for that. I'm going to make damn sure it's a whisper this time. Uh, what else? Shoot, there was something else. I want to get that ready to be published tomorrow. I have a video ready to publish today. It's not that, though. It's, um, is it the Trapper Keepers? I don't know. All my videos are getting jumbled up in my head somehow. I've just, I feel like I've had, I've done so many videos lately that I'm forgetting what I've done. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to get the second Spirit Halloween video done and published maybe Tuesday. I don't know. And so I'm, I need to get home and record a voiceover for that. Get that ready. Um, and work on some other stuff so yeah I do have other stuff to do so I got to get to it but thank you so much for being here I hope you've had a good Labor Day weekend if you're in the USA and I haven't really done anything and apparently nobody in Greensboro went everywhere their destination location for Labor Day was apparently Hobby Lobby because I think the whole damn city is here right now and it's sprinkling a little bit so I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to mow later I do have to mow the yard later the front I may not get to. It's looking like it's going to rain, but I hope not. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here again. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon.